Hello, this is Wampire with a very special interview. Joe from TyrodTactical.com. Um, I thought that this would be great because he sent me these Yawar sticks and uh, so you kind of get to see uh, or, or know a little bit more about the man behind these designs. And the way it works is I sent him an email with a bunch of questions and he wrote back. So I'm gonna go ahead and read it to you and why don't we just go ahead and get started. So number one, why do you use titanium? Titanium was chosen because it has lots of properties that make a Kubotan or Yawar stick a better product. It's about half the weight by volume of stainless steel and it's rust proof and inert to most solvents. Titanium strength to weight rating is also much higher than steel in almost all measures. And as titanium is stressed, it resists additional stresses much like a progressive spring. And vitally important, grade five titanium is viewed by most folks as a superior and premium material. The alloys add strength and toughness among other things. The grade five titanium alloy I use is often referred to as aerospace grade five titanium because it is used in aerospace industry due to the qualities previously outlined, as well as having a very high melting point. Question number two, why are there 50 models? I didn't intend to start out that way, really. But over the months, as I worked with the material making my first walking sticks and later Yawar sticks, I found myself sitting with lots of smaller titanium pieces that I wanted to find a use for because titanium is costly. The two to three quarter inch key ring carry short stick came about as a way to make use of the end of rod cutoffs and became my second model. It has become a popular item as well because it is so light and handy when carried at the end of your keys. You definitely won't forget to take it with you either, as no keys usually means no go. Question number three, what is the fist lock feature? My fist lock feature places the raised rubber grip into that small pocket created where your fingers meet the hand when you make a fist. You can easily see that pocket by keeping your fingers together and cupping your fingers about halfway. Most grips depend on friction and hand strength alone to secure the tool in hand, whereas to the fist lock grip will remain secure without white knuckling the stick, especially under wet or weakened user conditions. As my patent lawyer outlines in our application, the defensive stick cannot be pulled from the hand for as long as the user remains conscious. One other important feature of this grip is that for grappling, pain compliance, and locking maneuvers, you can still have a great grip on your stick while your hand is open. This allows use of your thumb and the tips of your fingers to act as a sort of pinching claw, allowing you to dig the stick tip into a wrist or other bony area. And finally, this grip automatically indexes and centers the stick for hammer fist strikes yet allows instant stick position changes for forward thrusting to the head or neck or simply pushing the tip into those same areas to bring someone to the ground without seriously hurting them. Question number four, can they be used for something other than self-defense? Oh yeah, they can. My palm sticks, my palm cap sticks have seen regular use as a portable door knocker by home delivery professionals, pizza delivery, for example, process servers bringing bad news and as an acupressure tool. One of my five inch lengths is used by a medical doctor, kidney specialist that does acupressure and acu acupuncture work once a week. I've personally used one of my shorter four and a quarter or four and a half inch palms palm cap sticks to relieve a stress headache by placing the domed tip into that hollow at the, at the base of the neck and leaning back into a couch or chair to apply pressure there. Usually, after just a few minutes, the headache disappears. 
It also makes a fine medicinal pill crusher to break up stronger medications into a water bottle or juice cap and then add the powder into the liquid and shake. This can ease stomach upsets with some of the stronger medications while generally speeding medication absorption times. Even simple headaches can go away faster this way. One final way I've used a palm cap stick, a five inch one usually, is when I need, needed to tenderize a tough cut of beef. After rinsing off the rubber tip, you can pound the toughness out of the meat and practice your hammer fist strikes at the same time. Flip the stick using the bare tip and you get cube steak. By the way, even my double-ended Yawara sticks can do many of these functions, but the comfort of the fully domed tip excels in comfort for acupressure use especially. Question number five, what makes yours different from others? I had previously spent 35 years as a bench jewelry repairman and diamond setter, so my attention to detail carries over into this endeavor also. I'm also proud of the sheer variety of innovative and useful designs, the use of quality materials, and the hand fit and finish work to my standards. This is the same standard I used when I did jewelry work those 35 years and is simply, if I wouldn't be satisfied with a finished job where I making it for myself, the customer won't ever get it and I'll do it over until I would be satisfied with it. A bit OCD perhaps, but in all these years, a philosophy that has never let me or my customers down. While my sticks are never meant to be finished like a high-end piece of expensive jewelry, they are banking tools after all. It certainly can be said my customers have noticed and commented on the workmanship through their reviews that they were very impressed. Question number six, what is your best seller? My palm cap stick is probably the best overall seller, but I think it's important to note that this stick is sold in many lengths and configurations. I have this basic stick listed for pocket carry, neck carry with a separate carriage with cord, and I say belt carry with a leather belt keeper and hose carriage. With the belt carry, you can even remove the leather belt keeper and use the stick and carriage as a key ring carry stick. Also, all of them can be pocket carried by not using the hose carriages. If you're talking of standalone bestseller, I would say my flagship model six and one eighth inch times 0 0.50 titanium Yawara stick takes the title today. Question number seven, what is your favorite model? This is kind of hard for me to answer because I like and regularly carry a lot of them at the same time. In fact, I often carry three or four models spread out throughout my various pants and jacket pockets in case I'm wrapped up in any way restricting access to my main stick. My main stick is a 6 one eighth inch times 0 0.50 titanium Yawara carried in my right front pants pocket. But I always have my key ring carry short stick in my hand going to the car or house as the cap is hidden from view, yet the stick tip instantly available if needed to repel an attack. I also carry a five and a half inch times 0 0.50 lightweight black Delrin in my shirt pocket and don't even notice the 1.4 ounce weight. In my left front pocket, I carry my fun stick, a five inch times 0 0.50 Delrin or titanium Yawar stick that I like to spin one handed on my left side. I'll sit in a movie or eating lunch at the mall or elsewhere and spin it ladder style working it up and down my fingers, sometimes thousands of times. It's a great workout for the hand and loosens it up for sure. I have one short 4 5 over 8 inch times 0.442 inch dedicated hand rehabilitation model that I also use often because its length and dome tips slide over the hand web between thumb and first finger the best. Question number eight, message for your customers slash fans. 
Well, it's certainly been a journey and I've met and communicated with many fine folks throughout the world in my current work. I want to thank each and every one of my customers for support of my small USA based business. Many of the customers come from 20 different countries to date and the refugee crisis has, has made many worried for their own safety around the world. The world truly is not what it once was. But there are many more of you I hope to meet and help to stay safe a little bit better. As I've come to understand when I drive down the road most days, every one of the cars coming towards me could someday become a customer. They just have to find me. Stay safe. Cheers, Joe T.